Welcome to another installment of Underappreciated. Today's installment is about the one and only Jamal Mashburn, a.k.a. Monster Mash. Hailing from the Bronx, New York, Jamal Mashburn picked up a lot of his skills playing street ball. Back then, there weren't any trainers training children like they are today. Like many hoopers from his time, he had to get it on the asphalt and it helped his game tremendously. He attended Cardinal Hayes High School before going to the University of Kentucky. Before reaching Kentucky, he did receive some awards for his high school run. In 1990, he was named Mr. Basketball in New York and he was also part of the Parade All-American second team. To say he had a successful college basketball career is an understatement. He was a force in the SEC conference. His junior year, he was named SEC athlete and player of the year and also part of the first team All-American squad. He also had his jersey retired by the University of Kentucky. After his college run, he declared for the draft. He was drafted by the Dallas Mavericks, who at the time had Derek Harper and Jim Jackson. He immediately made his presence felt on the offensive end. He averaged 19.2 points per game in 73 starts, which earned him a spot on the NBA All-Rookie First Team in 94. The 94-95 season is where Jason Kidd was brought into the fold and the three Jays were born. Mashburn averaged 24.1 points per game, which was sixth in the league at the time. During that season, he was the only player to have a 50 point performance which made him the fourth youngest player to do so as you can see he took his scoring prowess with him to the professional level halfway through the 96 97 season he was traded to the miami heat in his first postseason he averaged about 10 and a half points per game but eventually lost to the chicago bulls the 97 98 season he was plagued by injury which limited him to 48 games he averaged 15.1 point per game that season in the lockout season of 98 99 limited by injuries once again he averaged about 14.8 points per game and six point one rebounds per game. The 99-2000 season is when we really seen Jamal Mashburn really shine. Being one of the primary guys of the offense, he averaged about 17 and a half points per game, including a career high of 112 three-point field goals made. At the end of the season, he was traded to the Charlotte Hornets. In his first season with them, he averaged about 20.1 points per game, 7.6 rebounds per game, and 5.4 assists per game. He also had a decent postseason run in the 01 playoffs. He averaged a career high of 24.9 points per game. The 0203 season is hands down the best season for Monster Mash. He played all 82 games in which he averaged 21.6 points per game. He was also selected for his first and his only All-Star game, which took place in Atlanta. He won Easter Conference Player of the Month in March and made the All-NBA third team. He also had a 50 and 40 point performance that season too. Following that season, he would deal with constant knee issues, which eventually led to his retirement. His career averages are 19.1 points per game, 5.4 rebounds per game, 4.0 assists per game, 41.8% field goal percentage, 34.5% three-point field goal percentage, and shot 76.6% from the free throw line. He's also one of the few players since 1970 to average 20 points per game in his final season. Monster Mash, in my honest opinion, isn't appreciated enough in the game of basketball, as prolific as he was when it came to scoring. I feel he's left off of a lot of folks' lists when it comes to bucket getters. Monster Mash was a grade A three-level scorer with great size and could handle the rock like any of your favorite point guards. Please hit the like button, leave a comment, let me know who should I do next. Salute to Monster Mash, and this is another installment of Underappreciated. Thank you.